Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be paying our respects to the B Honeycoat star power. As you guys know, with the next update, this is getting removed and replaced with a different star power. And it's one of those rare moments where we won't really get to see this star power ever again. I, don't, I think only a few star powers have actually been killed off with uh, changes. I think 8-bits uh, star power. Uh, got removed before i'm not too sure if there's been any more but this one for sure it's going to be missed i really like this one outside of showdown it's actually really really fun uh but inside of showdown obviously it's a bit too toxic so we're going to be just paying our respects to the honico the big f in the comment section below for this but also we are only 600 subscribers away from the big 100k so if you haven't subscribed already i would uh, really appreciate if you guys subscribed as i said 600 subscribers away and then hopefully i can get my youtube plaque that'll look absolutely amazing so thank you guys and uh, yeah without further ado let's jump into it and just quickly before we get into today's video my hundred thousand subscriber special is going to be a q a unfortunately due to lockdown and just not really being able to do too much other than a q a we're just gonna have to keep it like that maybe in my next uh, achievement like 150k 200k we'll do something a bit different but uh, yeah, I'll be doing a Q&A, so make sure you're asking questions over on my Instagram and also on my community uh, post, which I'll be posting literally straight after this video. So make sure you're commenting your questions to be featured on my video. But uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, guys, hopping into the first game then. So Honeycoat, really controversial in the community, and I can see why it's got removed in Showdown. There's just too many bees teaming. Such a toxic trait about a brawler in a... Uh, solo sh survival mode that you can basically do exactly what i just did there shelly just came out of the bush i should have been dead and it just kept me alive so it's literally the start of the video is the perfect example why honeycoat was removed and I'm, I'm really glad i actually got to show that to be honest but now i haven't got any um fullback i did use my kind of escape route basically straight away which is obviously really really bad and maybe people don't realize that i will have this maybe let's see we can slow down that egg goal we can actually take them down so really well played for myself and we've got one gadget left with uh, b obviously the big counter to b is going to be egg goal we can take down this tick really easily uh i've only got one gadget left to really save me from the egg goals so that's kind of that uh but what is your kind of opinion with teaming in showdown and just egg goals and bees in general i just really think that uh, B isn't even a strong brawler. It's obviously star power, but it's just the sense of people teaming. Like if one brawl, well, if one set of brawlers just decides to uh, team in, just like for example, I don't know, a bunch of primo start teaming. I've seen all kinds of metas in Showdown, and no matter what, it's especially when brawlers aren't even that OP in three v three mode. So it kind of does frustrate me a lot of the times because it can be hard to balance brawlers because the priority really is on three v three modes. But if a brawler uh i think a really good example for this one was like i think leon when lone star was about leon was really op but in 3v3 modes he really wasn't that good so it's kind of hard to balance brothers in that state it's kind of the same with edgar as well so that's why they probably removed some hp but it's looking like an easy win for us the first game let's hop into the next one all right guys hopping into the next game hopefully i don't get any scares like that okay so i've actually looked at my screen and i see a bb to my left so now i already know she's not even running into the grass either Maybe pretty hard with this box to try and kill her. Let's see, she's going to be swinging that way. Probably can take it down, to be honest. Oh, no. Okay, this should be fine. It should be fine. Oh, bit scary there. Then I always forget I've got a backup. Even if she gets me down to 1 HP, I've got that little uh, one second time. If you guys remember, Honeycoat used to be so much more broken when it was first released. Every single time you used to respawn, I think you used to get a, um, basically another second life, which was just crazy. The B meta when... Uh, b first came out it was so toxic it was quite fun because i do like b and her mechanics one of the most fun brawlers for me to play in my opinion because i just like the really um short reload speed you can just keep tapping people for 3k and it's just good fun in free free modes oh this collect is <laughs> activate a gadget and she's kind of stuck there trying to get some value it takes absolutely forever to take down a box with b so so painful we, unfortunately we have a barley against us which isn't the best matchup for sure especially on a map like this let's try and stay away from barley um is there another barley on his tail yeah i probably will try and pinch him i just don't want to okay yeah he's led himself in a corner this isn't an easy takedown not too sure what that barley was really doing to be honest is that being maxed yeah that beat is max we've got a nanny called leon which is quite funny to see 
we have 10 power cubes with a B and we still have our uh, stop power, which is always really good. You're always in a good spot if you've got your stop power at the end of it. We'll just have that B for a lot. Maybe we can slow her down here. Yeah, okay, that's going to be really tough. Oh, she had rattled hive. Okay, I see it. Then I'll just one tap that collect and not even realize. Yep. Yeah. I didn't, I did just do that. Okay, let's see if we can win this battle. Oh, still, even with way more power cubes, I managed to, uh, they nearly managed to win that fight. Let's hop into the next game. All right, guys, hopping into the next one. We have Anita. I didn't see if there's anyone below me. I don't think there is anyone below me. If there is, it's a rip. Okay, yeah, of course, we have a Daryl right below us. And he's going to be taking us down. F. All right, jumping into the next one. This is why I don't play showdown much. I don't know the spawns. I don't know if anyone's around me. Yeah, I'm just a big showdown noob. But there's no real reason for me to play showdown too much. Other than on my mini account, that's what I'm playing on right now before I see the comments like, oh, Spend didn't play on his main account. He baited us. Well, I don't really want to play 960B in a showdown, do I? Because it's just a recipe for disaster. And it's just too many teamers when you get like above 700 trophies. We're going to keep it out of this for now. Have a Leon hot on our tail. Should be able to take him down. We get to keep our star power, which is always good news. We can slow down this sprout as well. Okay, we're in a really tough situation here. Don't know if I'm going to be able to survive here. Yeah, this is going to be an F as well. All right, guys, jumping into the next game. So we had two wins. We had two fails. That's how showdown goes. It doesn't matter how good of a player I am in 3v3 modes. It's a completely different ball game when you're thinking of showdown. This surge can free tap me, so I've got to be really careful. And I see a lot of uh, boxes, but unfortunately I'm beat and I'm smashing. Okay, auto aim just went up into the sky. I'm smashing the hell out of auto aim and just still not really have any progress with my boxes. Probably I'm just gonna use my honey pot here. Okay, so just just being so annoying. I really want to take him down. I really want to take him down. Let's see if my pot is right here. Can he take that down? There's surely no way. Surely no way. Look how slow he is. Oh my god. Level 1 surge with a slow. Yeah, he's wasted all his ammo. Should be able to take him down here. Oh, he does dodge my super there. Okay, really well played from him. Gotta be careful. He's got another TP and we're gonna get taken down. Right, guys, jumping into the next game. So we got like 4th or 5th in that game. And surge is a really big counter to be. So probably shouldn't have took that fight, which I will eventually learn. We've got a crow. Don't really want to take that fight either because he's just gonna be super annoying. I'm just going to tap him so we can get our 3k shot. Get this box earlier. We've got an Ego hot on our tails as well. I yeah, kind of don't want to go towards that Ego. I want this Crow. really want this Crow. I don't want to go too close to him though because he will secretly do a lot of damage. Does everyone just like target bees in Showdown now? Like everyone's just kind of focused on me. We hit a nice shot on that Tora. We also have a Surge. Yeah, this isn't looking too good. I don't want to get pinched here. So let's try and take down... It's Tara. We can take her down. Do waste a 3k shot on the pet. Shouldn't have really done that, to be honest. See if we can take down Mr. P as well. Some nice shots for myself. I'm really not used to aiming downwards in showdown. But I do manage to take them both down. Only three people left. And obviously one, including myself. I do tap someone in there. Okay, it's a surge. Wow, 2.5k damage with one shot. Wow, we also have a Leon. Leon, is that, what's his name? Leon OP? Of course. He probably only plays Leon. So we're just going to use our gadget there. Good prediction on the Leon. Bit obvious from him to just charge on into me. We've got Surge. I've still got my Honeycoat, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to use that as a tank. Okay, can we win this? Yes, nice. We're able to clutch up. See, Honeycoat is just so broken in Showdown. Let's hop into one final game. All right, I actually lied in that outro of that uh, last game. Probably two more games because I want to reach 600B. I'm not even at 600B on my mini, which is kind of funny to see. Uh, but still some interesting games, even though we're quite low in trophies. Let's see, this Rico is going to secretly try and sneak up. I reckon he's all the way up there. This should take him down. Nope. Okay, we're going to keep going aggro on him. We want to take him down. We want to be mean. Come on, scout him out. Okay, he's got to be there. No, he's going to be all the way up there. Where is this Rico gone? He's going to be over here, isn't he? Okay, I'm just shooting a bunch of shots into the distance, hoping to get him. Let's see, nice. We're able to finally snipe him. Not good for that, Rico. I feel kind of bad. That was a bit of a bullying. But to be honest, he weren't even shooting back. So, oh, okay. Wow, that Ruffs just deleted me. Did you just see that? Wow. Ruffs, like, unload speed is actually crazy. We also have a Surge pinching us down. This isn't looking too good. I don't know if we're going to survive this. Let's try and at least get this Ruffs down. Everyone's pinching me, and that's going to be an F. All right, guys. Jumping into the final game. Unfortunately, we did tilt minus six trophies. 
in that last one. But doesn't matter too much. We um I'm just gonna end off here. We've got like 21 trophies away from a 600 now, so probably a bit too long of a video. We have an egg or here. Let's just predict. Oh, that would have been OP. Imagine if we predicted that. I'm kind of scared in case Ego has super, which he probably does. Oh, come on. Come out for this box. I dare you. I dare you, Ego. Yep, see you later. Why, why would they do that? Unless he hasn't got gadgets to kind of jump away. You need to get out of that situation. There's no way that you're going to be able to take down a B like that. Oh, how does my super miss that Poco? We've got two Pocos nearby. We're going to use our gadget here to try and slow him. A 3k shot. Okay, Poker really weak. We can probably just steal this box, to be honest. He's going to go in aggro. We're going to take him down. We'll take that. Even if we lost the star power, that would have been two power cubes. Really worth to risk it there. Looking really good now. So we have six boxes. We don't have someone just pinching us down off spawn, which I'll always hate about showdown. Uh, I don't really care about my... 3k shot, so... Oh, it's a 5k shot now with all these power cubes. We can just take down that box really quick. I want to be greedy. I'm just aiming for this box. I really want that box. Okay, nice. We've got 8 now. Also got this Poco. He's going to go down. We also have this Ruffs. He should go down as well. Look at that. So good synergy of the Super. And just auto aim with B is a really OP combination. We have Penny spinning here. Maybe... Okay, they both trying to work to take me down here. Surge, I do not appreciate this. I do not appreciate this. Why is everyone going for me? Why? Come on. Oh, wow. Ending off the video on a cheesy team in. Yeah. I'm kind of glad that this star power is gone. Hopefully, it will change up the showdown meta, especially with Edgar as well. But that's going to be the last time I play Honeycoat, unfortunately. So, rip to Honeycoat in the chat. And Fs in the comment section below for the star power. But that's going to be the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.